Hi guys, so the other day I posted a couple of uh, photos on my Instagram on and on the Facebook page of my altar space. So I thought today I'd do a little video to show you around, a little bit more detail on my altar space itself and in my witchy or craft room and have a look around. Okay guys, so here we are in my witchy craft altar room or temple space. Um, it has got its own fire in here, it's only its own store, but I will come back to that. I've carved out a little corner over here in the bay window for now. Um, I'll probably move the sofa a bit, a wee bit further along later, but for now it'll do. So I've just used a coffee table with a nice cloth on it, and I just had a few bits of extras underneath there, like spare candle holders and what have you so I usually use a devotional candle either a large candle such as this one if I'm going to be in the room for quite a long time either doing meditation work or just working here generally otherwise I have a tea light usually in here if I'm only going to make my altar for a few minutes and won't be in here during the daytime and then I'll use that instead we have, oh, and this plate came from the charity shop. A lot of my stuff has come from the charity shops over the years, so that was from the charity shop. We've got some aura spray that my husband bought me for Christmas from Temp Goddess, uh, Glastonbury Temple Gifts, I think. So we've got a box with odds and ends in, in here. This also came from the charity shop. And I just keep a few of my favourite of my larger crystal specimens on here. So we've got Labradorite, very pretty Labradorite, that one. And Celestine, or Celestite, and Citrine. And a really nice big chunk of what I call Selenite, although other people seem to call it Selenite. But, you know, the goddess Selene rather than goddess Selen. Over here we have... Um, Random feathers, we've got like crow feathers, which I might use at Dark Moon for smudging, and random bits I've picked up. The white one is actually from one of our ducks. We've got my main chalice. This one I got from Holy Isle on Lindisfarne in Northumberland about 10, maybe 15 years ago. The pestle and mortar, which only gets used for things like incense and blending spell herbs. It's not for food use, that one spare chalice that came from the charity shop and i just keep things like incense cones and things like that in there and there's a little wee felt goddess that a friend made for me in there too we have a small statue of kuan yin that my sister bought me along with my stand where i put my daily card my oracle card whichever i pulled for that day that stands in there so today carly came out and we've got my singing bowl um, that came from, um, I've got that shipped over from Nepal, it's a really bonny one, that one. And we've got a nice big cluster of amethyst. And I tend to keep odds and pieces on here. So I've got um, some, because winter I've got some reindeer moss that I found in the garden on the floor. I don't tend to pick reindeer moss, but that was on the floor. And a uh, hagstone. We've got bits and pieces of rosebud in there and a couple of pentacles and a bit of smoky is that uh, natural citrine that's what's in there at the moment and these two little bottles here have moon blessed well water in we have a well on our land so I collected that at the full moon and left it out overnight under the full moon so that's what's in there Um the goddess statue I made a couple of oh when would it be beginning of last year perhaps and I just used air dry clay um, to make her and that she's my main goddess statue image whatever so but she that's that's my main altar statue over here I have a wooden box again from the charity shop and this keeps my tarot cards in it I use the Celtic tarot and on top I keep the deck whichever deck I'm pulling oracle cards from at present so at the moment it is Doreen Virtue's goddess guidance oracle i believe and i keep a palm stone of selenite on top of that i have my little curly hair here and um a bottle necklace i picked this up in the charity shop and usually i don't bother smudging things but 
I just felt this one wanted smudging so that was done a couple of days ago so that's why that's still on there I keep last year's the top pictures from last year's pretty calendar up there because they're pretty um what else have we got um we have a huge dream catcher which i made about 15 maybe more than that years ago at a um, pagan camp and a painting i did of the moon goddess on the other side of the bay of the window so turning to our right and we start trying to stand up um we have a little old kitchen shelving unit here on the wall with a picture of the circle because you can have a picture of the circle and on top i have some candles up on the top there that i made at imolk the master back candles for the year extra candlestick hold candlesticks and chunky candles and what have you we have um some loose mixed up incense in that jar and in here i made some massage oil at the during my moon time so that's moon time oil massage oil and it's got lovely things in like tuber rose oil and what have you and my oracle card decks are on that end like anything needs hanging up gets hung up on these pegs below the shelf so we've got a rattle from glastonbury a travel spell pouch if you're going any long distance journeys is hung up a tree of life made with um amethyst a friend made we have a a charm my mum made hung up here as well and a rune talisman a friend made my husband's carnelian and a couple of my citrines but anything that needs that is easier to be stored hung up gets hung up up there um okay to the left my older space we have the hearth and we have a wee little table there with my lapping butter on and i tend to burn my incense there so I've got my sage bundles and my um, incense stick burners down there and some sa uh, smudge bundles that I made from herbs that were getting a bit past their best, the dried herbs so they're there. Any odds and ends of stones and pebbles and shells that I pick up. We have a lot of stones in our house, we have a thing for stones in our family. So anything small tends to get put in here so I've got um, random fossils, um, there's a piece of ammonite. Um, some, these are called devil's toenails. Then um, shells, a bit of a random piece of granite, things like that. We've got a piece of whalebone that I found at the beach. My big cast iron cauldron sits on the hearth, and at the moment down there we have the Bridget card at my oracle deck and my Imolk part candle, which is part burnt down. Um, on top, I don't know if you can see in this light, but on top I have a small cauldron that gets used for burning charcoal discs and loose incense in that one. Um, what else? So up there we have a couple of some pictures, my bow and arrow, and some, oh, some carved wooden pipes. My husband, he likes wood, carving wood things. Have all my witchy pagany books over here got three shelves of them there i don't tend to keep books unless i find them vaguely useful or i haven't got around to reading them yet probably about half of these no maybe a quarter of these i haven't actually got around to reading properly yet. i tend to dip in and out of books i don't have much time to read these days so um one day i will get around to reading them all i've got a I've got a felt unicorn the one got me <laughs> random bits and pieces i have no home get it's dumped on here as well at the moment we have my main spell herbs are up here I found these labels on Etsy and I just put it's got on the back what's in them but um, it looks fun and a tub up there with dried rosebuds from mine and my husband's hand fasting so any sort of love type spells or ones that involve love of some element I tend to use some petals from that down here I have my cupboard with other supplies in so just keep things like essential oils um open pack of charcoal discs bits of feathers tweezers things like that in there um resins and spare candles and um candles in here and spell candles and things like that, that they stay in there incense sticks random bits also things like 
um, spare big jars of ointment. So I've got plantain ointment in there, I've got dried skull cap in there, I've got candied ginger, coconut oil, all that sort of thing. And then we've got, um, we've got a table here with my smaller crystals in it, in here and on there. Um, ointment making supplies on the right, on the left we have some fleece and what have you for spinning. Um, I keep craft supplies, this is a craft room, it's a witchcraft room and craft room. And I keep craft supplies in that box and over here we have my sewing and craft supplies in those boxes too. Up here we have my drums and random bits more fairy lights and this is my main workspace this is where I work if I'm working on the blog or making jewellery or random bits where I need light I love sitting here you can look out on the garden I really enjoy sitting here so at the moment it's got on some calendula petals that I've just bought mine have gone really really dry so I need some fresh ones so I've got some there and uh, what else is in here I usually use this room for my yoga so my yoga mat usually gets laid out in here too over here on the other side from the bookcase we have some fabrics um decided to do some red tent work so i gathered what fabrics i had and a couple of cushions and some yarns and i've decided to do a square each moon time so i have a square that i made last week i have my beautiful beautiful wall hanging that my husband got me for my birthday in january and my spinning wheels took down there so if i take that out of there i can move myself along and give myself a wee bit more space in the altar area but i need to find somewhere to put it first we have pop cat and i think that's everything in here at the moment there's a lot of blank wall space i moved the shelf from the other side over to there a couple of weeks back so and we have a sleepy kitty to say goodbye to puppy say goodbye say bye bye so I hope I didn't bore you too much, that's just a little peep around my craft room and if you want any more information or ask me anything, pop in the comments below. You can also see me, on, I'll put the links for Instagram and my blog and webpage and so on and so forth below as well too. Bye bye!